I started to kind of develop arguments in my head saying this three in one or Jesus dying on the cross or Jesus being God and then Jesus then had to go to the toilet and he's God. I kind of started to logically dissect the religion in my head. I mean, I was a very kind of um, non-emotional person when I was a kid. I had no real desire to, be, to kind of find out about religion. It's just something that it kind of hits you in the face and you try and brush it off. But then it comes back again and you try and brush it off and go, no, 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 this is not happening. But it's something that I think you cannot control, this feeling or this urge to know what life is truly all about. The particular brother who lived near me um, was listening to a, a speaker um, that was, was really kind of close to him. I think he was a convert to Islam from, from America. He asked the speaker and he, I think it spoke to him and he'd started to pass the tapes on to me and I started to listen to them at home, which caused a lot of problems at home because my mother started to find these tapes in my cupboard and said, what are you doing, David? You know, we have found these books. What, you become some sort of extremist. Anyway, I hid the tapes and I continued to listen to them privately. And then this particular speaker, probably about a couple of months, decided to come to the UK and I was invited there. I went to see him and I expressed to my friend, I just want to believe because this speaker is just saying everything. And I think because he was a convert as well, it, it, I felt as though I wasn't alone. I felt, well, if he could do it, I can do it. And I think that was the clinical... You know, I didn't want to be that person in the village, the only English guy in the village who's a Muslim. And, you, you, you know, feeling that I want to be accepted. And because he was that and he'd done it and he was a speaker and he'd been Muslim 30 years, I thought, yes, I want to do it with him and I want his advice and I, and I want him to be my mentor, even though maybe he's from America and he couldn't be. But at least I had some, some solitude in that. So I went to the event. And I, I met this speaker and I mentioned to the to my friend who lived near me that I wanted to accept Islam on that day. And I went up to the stage in front of about a thousand people and did my shahad. And I had about 500